Hi Capricorn, my earth sign Capricorn. What is up, what is good with y'all? Welcome and welcome back to my channel, guys. I thank you so much for staying with me, sticking with me all 2022. You guys, I have been sick these past couple days. That's why I have not been posting. But you guys, I am back to post your videos. So let's get this reading going. This is going to be for January 2023 for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Uh, Capricorn, this is Mercury Retrograde and it will be Mercury Retrograde until January 18th. So some exes may come back. There may be some contracts that you're going to have to halt on signing. And we'll talk about all that stuff later, okay? Let's look at the overall energy. The Seven of Wands, okay? I do feel like um, whoever is coming towards you, this may be a fire sign. I feel like you're blocking motherfuckers, you're pushing people away, or you're shunning someone off here with the Seven of Wands. This, this could also be you showing up on a defense or very defensive about something. This could be a fire sign coming towards you, wanting to give you their excuse or explanation concerning something. There may have been some talk of rumors and gossip going on, okay? But I do feel like you're being protected here from whatever this is. Seven of Wands showing up, okay? This person may be trying to do spell work on you here, Capricorns. But I feel like you're manifesting here, okay? You're setting healthy boundaries with someone here. You're putting your foot down and you're not compromising with this person. You're not seeing eye to eye with them or anything. I feel like you're not you're not wanting to or this person is not wanting to compromise with you. Okay? I feel like this person is trying to use some sort of spell work but it's not going to work with the 7 of wands here. You're being protected. I also feel like you're manifesting you're bringing things into fruition. You're manifesting your dignity, your self-respect. You're manifesting your dreams into reality here. And I feel like you can manifest anything that you put your mind to. You have the tools. You have all the tools that you need to manifest whatever this is. Why is the magician here? This may be a Gemini that you are connected to for some of you. Capricorns. The Capricorn. Clarify the Magician. Clarify the Magician. The Eight of Wands. So yeah, this person is trying to um, do some spell work with the Magician. And I feel like with the Eight of Wands, this person is trying to love bomb you guys. They want to talk to you. And I feel like when they do talk to you, they may love bomb you. Okay, I'm seeing this person wanting to travel towards you. This person may be at a distance from you or you guys may be throwing fiery dots at each other. You guys may be smoking um, or you just finished smoking or something like that. I feel like you're trying to manifest some sort of travel here. But I'm seeing someone wanting to come towards you or someone is coming towards you very quick, very fast. Yeah, this person wants you to feel defeated. Okay, they want you to feel like you lost here with the Five of Swords. This is someone who is very hateful, very mean, very jealous, very envious. This person puts you in competition or this person likes to compete with you. I feel like this person is operating from their ego and they think that they got you wrapped around their finger. Okay, they feel like they can pull you back in or they can win you back at all costs here. But that's what I feel like their intentions are. <coughs> Excuse me, I feel like your person's intentions is to win you back at all costs here. And they want to try to manipulate you to do this or they're going to. Okay, so I do see them wanting to talk. But I feel like there's a lack of communication or there is no communication at all right now. Okay, why is the five of swords here? Why is the five of swords here? Why is the five of swords here? Yeah, someone... Someone cannot stand you. Someone is, is tired of you or you're tired of them. Okay. Justice in the reverse. Things are not going well for this person in their life. Whoever you are dealing with. 
justice in the reverse. This could be a Libra. I feel like this person, if they're having legal issues, if they have to go to court, if, they, if they're faced with child support or any other legal issues from the government or whatever, it's not going to go in their favor here. Okay, yeah. I feel like this is not going to work. Okay, whatever this is that they're trying to do right here with the justice in reverse, it's not working. It's not going to go in their favor. I feel like it's backfiring on them. Whatever it is, the sneaky plan or whatever it is that they try to come in here and do. This is backfiring on them because now this person is re is receiving karma and justice is in the reverse, which means you do not want to reconcile with this person. This is someone from your past here with the Six of Cups. This could be a water sign here, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Someone from your past wants to reconcile with you. This could be someone you have children with, or this could be someone you went to high school with, like a high school sweetheart, or someone you've grown up with since childhood. Okay? But I feel like they want to reconcile with you. They want your, they want to apologize. They want forgiveness, but I feel like it's not going to work here. <coughs> Excuse me. I also feel like this person is going through some childhood trauma. Or some childhood karma or something from their childhood. Okay, something didn't work out as for this person when they were a child. Okay, why is the Six of Cups here? Yeah, I feel like with the fool here, this person was foolish. Okay, I feel like they just wanted to go about to the beat of their own drum. This person is a free spirit. They are not ready or commitment is not their style right here. Okay. That's how this person was, but I feel like they want to take this risk. They want to take this leap of faith towards you here, okay? I do feel like they feel like this is kind of risky. They feel like this is risky taking this risk or doing this, or you feel like it's something will be risky. If you go back to this person, it would be risky, okay? But I feel like... um. This person... Yeah, they're coming towards you. They're taking some sort of risk. But I feel like you guys are stepping into the unknown, into a new journey, a brand new beginning. You're wanting something new right here for you for you guys, okay? You're wanting something new. And I feel like you're taking this leap of faith and you're going on, throwing caution off into the wind and you're just doing it. Your person may be watching, saying to themselves that I'm exposing them. I really don't care. Okay, I have to get these messages out to Capricorn. I'm sorry. But you guys, this person is watching you. They're spying on you, trying to get some more information. Okay, maybe in the past you took a risk and was spying on this person. Maybe you wanted to get some more information. So maybe you wanted to figure some things out right here. Maybe you were trying to figure some things out. So maybe you were spying, going through this person's phone, um, investigating or look, doing some investigative work. Maybe you found out something in the past. Maybe you found out that your person was juggling you and another person with this Two of Pentacles here. Okay. juggling you and another person and that's why this cycle had to be closed out yeah it's done it's over you may be connected to a fixed sign a taurus um a, a scorpio aquarius or a leo but whatever this is this person may be at a distance from you geographical or you were or you were becoming distant when you found out this person um was juggling you you may withdrawn your energy but i feel like this is done this is over some of you may be pregnant by your person and if not then this is just over and i feel like you're stepping into a brand new cycle um in your life right here i'm seeing some travel here for you guys and yeah this is over this is done because this person was juggling you and another person they may have two jobs or they was in two mindsets or Maybe you um, said, you know what, I don't want to deal with this person. I don't want to be with them and then change your mind. Okay, maybe you've been going back and forth on this decision that you've made here. Maybe when you two uh, do communicate, maybe you two go back and forth with each other all the time and it's over. It's done. Okay, but I see your person wanting to come in and offer you an apology. More water energy. Okay. 
I, I see a person wanting to tell you that they are sorry and wanting to offer you a cup of love here. Okay, you could be connected to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. But it could be you. They're coming towards you. They're very they're feeling very drawn to you because the Queen of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. This person may have children from a past connection. That is not working out. I'm seeing if this person is going to be uh, called in for child support. It's not going to go in their favor. Because they are not there for their children. Some of you, they're an absent parent. For some of you, not all of you. But yeah, I'm seeing you move forward successfully and victoriously. This person wants your attention. <coughs> Excuse me. This person wants your attention with the Six of Wands. Fire energy. Fire sign. You may be a public figure or in the public eye or you are in the spotlight here. But whatever this is, I'm seeing success and recognition. I'm seeing success and victory here for you guys moving forward here. Okay? Period. Because you... You, you recognize your worth and your value and you're not going to settle for anything less than you feel like you truly deserve. You're showing up as the empress. Very abundant. Very youthful. Very intuitive. Very sexy. Okay, you may be pregnant. You may be your, this person's wife or spouse. This may be your baby mama or baby daddy. Or someone's baby mama or baby daddy. Could be involved right here. Okay. Maybe you guys are expecting, okay, with the Empress, okay, but I just feel like, yeah, yeah, the Ace of Cups came out in the reverse, this love was unrequited, I feel like this person wants to move towards you now because they know you're the one, okay, they recognize, I feel like with the Six of Wands, something was brought to your person's attention. And they realize that you are the one. That you're the one. But this love was very unrequited. Unrequited. So there was an unequal give and take. It was one-sided. And the feelings are not mutual. I feel like there's no love here. I feel like you fell out of, fell out of love with this person. I feel like you're pouring this love into yourself. Ace of Cups in Reverse is self-love, self-care, self-worth. And you got this person all up in their feelings here. Okay, this person may have been trying to perform some sort of black magic or voodoo on you. Okay, this cancer. Okay, I feel like for some of you, um, this person, you know, is hiding the way that they feel right now. They're hiding their feelings, you know. And I feel like this person causes you a lot of burdens. This is also causing them a lot of burdens to hide how they feel about you. This is weighing heavy on this person's shoulders. This is heavy. This is difficult. This is something that this person does not want to carry. This person may have a lot of kids, a lot of baggage. This is a lot of shit going on with this person. This is a heavy load. But I feel like this person has put these burdens on you. Okay, because with the moon card here, okay, this person could have been hiding secrets from you, keeping you in the dark about things, not telling you anything. Okay. And I feel like you guys have been listening to your intuition. And it's been hard on you. You know, you may have been, you know, overworked. You've been doing a lot for your person. Or you've been taking on a lot of responsibilities uh, with your person. Or, you know, you've just been putting up with their bullshit, their baggage, you know, their shit. And it's just burdening to you. It's just a burden on you. You know, I feel like if this person was to reconnect with you, they they would still uh, hide their feelings and keep it to themselves. And I feel like they're keeping to themselves that they see you as their other half and they want to reconnect with you. They're in love with you. And so I feel like they're keeping that to themselves or that's something that they have kept hidden inside them for a while. And they regret that with the Five of Cups here. More Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I feel like this person is going to reach out to you unexpectedly, okay? With this Page of Pentacles, this person may be younger than you. You're younger than them, maybe. 
So I feel like when this person reaches out to you to have some sort of, uh, they want a new start with you or start on this relationship with you or work on it or whatever, I feel like it's going to be rejected. Four of Cups, okay? An offer that is being rejected because, first of all, this offer is being rejected. You're not interested. You're not, you're not wanting to deal with this person. This person makes you unhappy. They make you feel dissatisfied. They make you feel rejected. This person slept on you. They didn't think you could. They, they didn't think you could leave. This person rejected your love. When you offered them love, this person rejected you. You even some of y'all. Somebody, this is very specific, somebody was giving their person money thinking that their person would accept their love and, and, and they wouldn't reject them, but they were still getting rejected. And this person was giving you the bare minimum in the connection, rejecting your love. And I feel like you're rejecting their offer now because of the pain, the hurt, the trust that they broke because of the betrayal. Ten of Swords. This person backstabbed you, left you for dead. Have you feeling so bad and completely let down by everything? And they did it more than one time. They did it too many damn times, Capricorn. Yeah, this person may be the parent of your child, your baby mother, baby daddy, or this is just somebody who um, they 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 have love for you. They do love you, but I feel like they don't show it. They they don't wear their heart on their sleeve. They keep it to themselves. They keep it deep within themselves. Okay, they don't. They wear a mask. This person doesn't open up and share their feelings and express their feelings. They have trouble with intimacy, and so they hide it. This person may drink a lot. Okay, this person may be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But I'm seeing you showing up very mature and very uh, emotionally balanced. Even though this person betrayed you, they broke the trust, they hurt you. It's a missed opportunity. Yeah, and with the Four of Cups, you're holding back. And that's also um, speaking of a missed opportunity. Okay, also this person, this Cancer Pisces or this Scorpio is getting ready to lose mad money, y'all. Why are they getting ready to lose money? Yeah, because I feel like this person is very stubborn. You know, they're very stubborn. They're stubborn as hell. And I feel like your feelings have changed for this person. You don't feel the same way that you used to. You're not even attracted to this person. This person may have gained a lot of weight. They may be really heavy set. It doesn't matter about the weight. I just feel like um, this person backstabbed you so much and betrayed you. You just not. You just not feeling them. You just not interested. You just your feelings are not the same. Your feelings have changed for this person with the nine of cups in reverse. You don't see them as 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 wish fulfillment. You know, it's 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 no point. You've lost hope. You've lost faith. You've given up on this person. You know, it's. It's no point in trying or holding on to hope and faith with this person. And I feel like this person turns to drinking or drugs to heal and it's not it's not working. It's not working. Okay. But I do see you moving forward successfully and victoriously here. Because the cherry also represents success and victory. Okay. And I feel like you guys are moving forward or you know wanting to know what comes next after this like you know what what direction am i going to move into now where is where 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 is my life going or what do i want to happen next i feel like you're moving or relocating to a different city state country town you may be getting a new car okay yeah but i feel like even though you've given up on this person they're going to come towards you anyway with the chariot showing up here okay and i feel like you're gonna hold back and hold off and not open up to this person okay you're not talking you're done you're not even interested you're saving your money you're being stingy you're not sharing okay period not at all okay you're saving your money for a big purchase like a move a home or a car i'm seeing a car for a lot of you okay hmm yeah, 
I feel like you've been waiting for something to come in for you. And I feel like it's finally coming in with this Three of Wands. You've been waiting for this for a long time. I do feel like a lot of you have turned your back on this person. And you're exploring, expanding, and seeing what else is out there. And I do feel like you turned your back on this person. You're not paying them no damn mind right now. Yeah, you're focused on saving your money and moving forward. Sorry about that, you guys. My brother was letting the kids know they can come downstairs and watch a movie. Yeah, but you guys are planning ahead, planning for your future, looking ahead. Okay, yeah. So I feel like this person is waiting for you to get back with them. <laughs> this person is waiting for you to open up. This person is waiting for you to let them in. <laughs> Three of Wands, more fire energy. Yeah, this person's whole world is falling apart. I feel like Spirit has intervened and said, "No, no, 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 no more. You're not, you're not doing this to my Capricorn no motherfucker more." You know, and I feel like you allow this tower to fall, so this tower can be rebuilt upon a stable foundation here. Because I feel like this is not stable. This is not solid, and the foundation is weak. Okay, I feel like this person is going through some sort of disaster in their life. They could be losing money. They could be going bankrupt. They could have lost their home or their home got caught on fire. Okay, maybe they're going through some sort of divorce. Or maybe you're divorcing this person. There was a shakeup, a breakup, a divorce or something that happened here between you and your person. Okay, this may have happened recently. Yeah, this could be a divorce with the Queen of Swords here. Because a Queen of Swords is a divorcee. Someone who is divorced. You may be filing for a divorce or getting a divorce. Yeah, you guys, this person wanted you to be stuck with them. They wanted you to feel stuck, trapped, and blocked. They didn't want you to use your intuition. They wanted you to be blinded to situations and be all, all up in your head and replay things over and over again in your mind here. They wanted you to be in a mental imprisonment of your own thoughts. This person may have some psychological issues going on in their brain here, but I feel like this person is stuck, trapped in a situation they don't want to be in. Their intuition, they're not listening, they're not using it, they're ignoring it. I feel like, yeah, this person is stuck. This person is all up in their head and they can't stop thinking about you. You know what I'm saying? You better off without this person. Nine of Pentacles, that is your energy showing up. You know, you are better off without this person. You know, I feel like, yeah... You have invested a lot of time, energy, and money into this person. You spent a lot of time with them. Maybe you guys have lived together. Maybe there were some talks of engagement or moving in together or starting a family together. Okay. How does Capricorn feel about this now? Okay, that's the truth. Yeah. But the truth came out. You know the truth about this person. But I feel like this person is coming in to communicate with you. Maybe they want to move back in. Or maybe they want to return back home or something like that. But the answer is no. That is your energy Capricorn. Okay. This person is very toxic here. And like I told y'all. I was telling the truth about that person doing spell work on you. Or black magic on you. Okay. But I feel like this person is addicted to sex, drugs, alcohol, whatever it is that they're addicted to. They're also obsessed and codependent on you. Alright, and this is someone, you had to end things with them. You had to. It was just too toxic. It was just too much. You had to end it. Okay, period. Yeah, it's time. Okay. This was divinely guided. I feel like, yeah, this was supposed to happen. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. This is your destiny. This is your luck. This is your fortune turning in your favor here. Okay, you could be fixed. You could have a fixed aspect aspect in your chart. Okay, um, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, or you're connected to one. There's a fixed sign here. But I feel like, yeah, your spirit guides and your angels are ready to gift you. They are ready to change your life for the better. I do see some good changes coming in for you here. 
Okay. Let me shuffle these cards one more time. We're going to get some love situation messages. And then I'm going to get some messages from the Hidden Truth for you guys. Let me know if you like the readings long or short or whatever. I don't know. You guys don't be commenting. You, I don't know if you guys are afraid to comment or what. But <laughs> please let me know. Alright, what's coming towards Capricorn for 2023? An engagement. It says commitment, promises, making it official. There's marriage in your future. So I see in the future you're going to be engaged to be married. Okay. Yeah, you're going to be engaged to be married. Okay, this could be to a friend. Maybe this person came to you and told you that they just want to be friends. Or maybe this person made a commitment promise to you, but they put you in the friend zone here. Okay, I feel like this person may come to you and tell you if they can't be with you, they just want to be your friend. Or if you're engaged to someone, they may come to you and tell you they just want to be friends. Okay, what the hell is this trying to say? Capricorn for Capricorn. This person may give you a ring and tell you they just want to be friends. If you don't want to be with them, keep the ring. Or maybe you maybe you guys were engaged in the past. Yeah, you ghosted this person. Okay, or this person ghosted you. It says abrupt ending, no closure, ending all communication. Yeah, this ended abruptly. Out of nowhere. This person did not see this coming. There was no closure. This person did not didn't did not get any closure I feel like you've ended all communication you're not speaking to them right now there's no contact because this person is a fool they're very foolish okay making foolish choices not serious playing games playing tricks they just play mind games okay playing head games they're a clown they keep a lot of secrets from you it says secret love secret admirer moving in silence oops sorry guys I feel like your person was keeping someone a secret or there was a secret admirer around your person. Okay, but there's more to be revealed here. Okay, what is jumping out here? Yeah, this person is a player. Okay, playing the field with you. So I feel like for some of you, it may have been someone else on the side. Maybe a side piece or something like that. This person was refusing to commit to you. Yeah, they have this grass is greener syndrome. Okay, and then it says cut through, emotional, mental clarity, secrets come to light, breakthrough. There's a communication coming in here. I feel like you're going to receive mental and emotional clarity about this situation here. And I feel like the secrets is coming to light. You may already know about this person's secrets. For some of you, not all of you. What else is coming yeah, there's a shocking event. It says unexpected or surprise. Did not see coming. Unpredictable. So I feel like when this person comes in to communicate with you, you didn't see this coming. This was unexpected. This could be a little shocking. Or this is a faded event happening here. What is this? Bad timing. Waiting for the right time. Patience is needed. This person is waiting for the right time to come towards you. Or when you got together with them, it was just bad timing. It just wasn't the right time. Or maybe it's not the right time for this person to come towards you. Maybe spirit is blocking this person from coming towards you. It says all around them. Can't escape connection. Telepathic experiences. Your love haunts them. Yeah. So I feel like they're experiencing some telepathic um, shit right now. They're seeing you or they think they see you everywhere. Um, they think um, someone has called you or they hear your voice or they hear your name. Someone has your name. Okay, so they feel like they can't escape this connection. They feel like they're attached to you. They feel like, <laughs> they feel like they're stuck or something like that. What the hell? 
They could be delusional or something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. You guys are on the right path. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're aligning with your purpose here. You're accepting your story and you're on the right track here. Okay, someone is wanting to reach out to you. It could be this person wanting to confess, mend the connection, rebuild. I feel like they want to apologize to you for their actions. What do they want to apologize for? They want to apologize to you for moving. Did this person move away? Did they relocate, change homes? Maybe they've moved. Maybe they don't live in the same area. Hmm. Maybe you're moving. Okay, maybe they want to apologize and you're moving. Or there's some things in your home that you're focused on. Yeah, because now this person is missing you. Okay, being that, you know, this telepathic experience is like throwing them off course or it's fucking their head up. <coughs> I feel like now they're thinking about you. They're having feelings of nostalgia. It says pleasure and sadness. This person is stuck in the past looking at pictures, looking at text, or looking at thinking about memories, about the past. Yeah, there's feelings of nostalgia here with this person. There could be some gossip here. Okay, your person could be talking about you to your, your friends or their friends, family members, colleagues. They could be talking to their friends about um, some sort of pregnancy that you had or pregnancies that you try to have or something like that. Okay, it's something about a pregnancy they talk about. You could be pregnant or... Maybe there's some gossip about your person getting someone else pregnant. Maybe people heard rumors that you were pregnant, but you're not. That could be the case for some of you. Okay, I feel like you guys are working. I feel like you guys are working. You're focused on your work. It says working hard and long hours. Love at work. Hmm. Some of you, I feel like your person may have gotten someone pregnant that they work with. Capricorn. Yeah, this person may be married. Or there may be someone here. Could be a third party. Yeah. Could be this why. It, that could be the reason why this person ghosted you. They ghosted you because of a third party. It says love triangle. Something is interfering. Competition and enemy. Yeah, and then your person is focused on this other person. That's why they ghosted you. There's a third party. They're married. Their person could be pregnant. This woman, this married woman could be pregnant. Okay. Maybe you are the third party for some of you. Maybe this person involved you in a love triangle. Maybe they didn't tell you that they were married. And in the tarot, they were lying about being married. Okay, but I do see you healing here. And if they're not married, just um don't 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 take that as uh, a, a part of your story. Just let that fly to somebody else, okay? You're reevaluating needs. It says self-love, self-care. Yeah, you're moving forward. You're healing. You're healing. I feel like this person, whoever this third party, whoever this is, your person is very sad and depressed over someone who has hurt them in the past or people that have hurt them. They feel like they're the victim or they play victim. So, but they, they, they don't trust nobody. They, people, they feel like people have taken advantage of them in different ways. They really didn't have that much hope for this connection. And so they're prolonging their grief over an ex from the past. This person may have been their first true love, okay? could be someone that they've grown up with someone they have children with I was just getting ready to say that so this could be someone's baby's mother or baby's daddy but I feel like yeah your person is very toxic because they were staying for the kids they were using these children as a pawn there are children involved in here this person is low vibrational this is a toxic relationship this person is not good for you okay it's toxic they're toxic and I, I, I believe you're aware of that 
especially with the devil showing up in the spread okay abundance came out in the reverse here so this person I told you they're going to lose a lot of their financial blessings they may have tried to use their children for money okay and now their money is tight they having money problems money issues they're heartbroken over this money they're heartbroken over this breakup they're suffering and grieving and they're unable to move on they could be unable to move on from you and this other person here their baby mama or their baby daddy but I see that you may be thinking about dating okay it says ready to start dating meeting new love interests yeah you're getting over this person you're getting over them you're recovering from this heartbreak this breakup you you're getting over them I see family and friends around you who love and support you. Okay, I do see you building a, safe, a stable, solid foundation for yourself. I do see security and I do see stability here. Okay, it says my rock. Okay, yeah, your person has some bad intentions. They feel like you came into the, into the connection with some bad intentions too. Because they don't trust nobody. So there's red flags, lies, and secrets. Yeah, protect your energy and be very cautious of this person. Be very cautious of this person because I feel like they're going to try. They're going to come towards you. All right, let's check out some hidden truth messages. And then we're going to get out of here. I know this is pretty long, so I'm going to speed up. Capricorn. What messages do your person want to tell you? I hide my feelings. It says I hide my feelings. So they hide their feelings from you. That's what I was telling y'all earlier. In this, when it showed up in the spread. They feel drawn to you. Like I was telling you earlier. I lied to you. Yes, yeah, some of them. They Some of y'all, they really lied to y'all about being married. Okay, they lied to you about... Something you asked them and they told you no. Maybe you asked them if they got somebody pregnant or if they're married or, you know, whatever. And they told you no. They lied about that. And you had too much to lose to let this person come back into your life and fuck everything up for you. You was not about to do that. No. You refuse to be with a liar. What else is coming out for Capricorn? You see right through this person. You know about all their secrets, their lies, their intentions. And yeah, it's too late. It's done. It's over. They love the way you think, your mindset, the way you talk. They like the information you tell them. It's like you're really focused. You're really intelligent. And that arouses them. You focused on this person instead of the pain that they put you through. They miss being with you. But they took the easy way out like a chicken shit. Your body language says so much. Mm -hmm. It's at the bottom. They know you don't feel the same way that you used to. Will you ever make things right? They want to know if you'll ever give them a chance to make things right with you. And they won't let you down. So this is like... Yeah, okay. So they want to know if you could give them a second chance to make things right with you and they won't let you down. But I'm seeing this person does want to change. They have changed, but I feel like they're still holding on to their toxic ways. I, f I still feel like this person is fighting their demons here. I still feel like this person is attached to things that is no good for them, that is unhealthy for them, you know, and they have a hard time letting that shit go. What is this? You broke my heart. Yeah, because I was looking at that devil card. I don't trust you. You don't trust this person at all. I hope I see you again sometime. Mm-hmm. Nope, because you still hurting. And in that moment, right now, you don't care. You don't give a shit. You don't give a damn. You don't give a fuck. Because they let you down. You don't give a fuck. 
I want to make amends. This is what they want. They want to make amends. Okay, that's nice to know. That's nice. They feel so happy with you because you make them happy. They save your text and messages. But you're happy this shit is over. You're happy this bullshit is over with this person. And you hope they are happy. You hope that they found what they're looking for. Because you have changed. You are not the same person you used to be. They fantasize about you now because you have changed. You pulled away. You don't give a fuck. So this happened. Sometimes I hear your voice. That's that telepathic experience that they're having. I pretend you didn't mean that much because they hide their feelings. Thank you for leaving me. That sounds like some sarcasm. I'm waiting for an apology. So I feel like you're at least waiting for them to give you an apology. You feel like the least they can do is give you an apology. Alright guys, so that is your reading. I hope you guys like that reading. Okay, if you want a private personal reading, my readings are open now for private personal readings. All you have to do is look through the description box for that information. Before you go, besties, like this video up. Before you go, give this reading a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Turn your post notifications on ALL so you won't miss any readings that I upload for you guys because I wouldn't want y'all to miss out. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I'm so proud of you for protecting your energy from this person. Bye, Capricorn. I'll see y'all in the next reading.